Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl Shay Miller Wright, and I'm back with another video. And like it was yesterday, it's extremely hot today. But that won't ruin my day. I didn't do great, but I did better. I brought snacks. I brought noodles. Noodles aren't really good for you. I think it depends on how you make it, because the Chinese people make it out of dough. But I'm not really sure if eating bread or dough all the time is good for you. I did get some Chinese noodles, and I'm not sure if these are made of dough or what the American people make their noodles out of. I don't think all noodles are made the same, personally, but I do like the way they make them in videos, which is completely out of dough. It looks so good, but that's not the point. Um, I just want to focus on getting healthier getting better and getting more getting in the place of more abundance now i've been talking about abundance and financial freedom for a very long time and it's not only like a way of living but it's a way of thinking and that's the thing about everything that you want in your life you gotta think about it as a way of living as well as a way of thinking if it's not something that you're thinking say you want to do something but you're not thinking on the level that you want to live but you're trying to live out something but you don't believe in it you're living in controversial to what you actually want because you're not believing in your mind enough to have it in visualized here first then act upon it but if you act upon something that you don't believe now sometimes there's some things in your life that is going to be hard to believe because you're going to be in disbelief about those things. So there are times in your life there will be disbelief, right? Disbelief that you can make this happen. Disbelief that it can happen. Disbelief that this is not for me. Is this possible? Man, like some things happen in your life that you're not really sure about or that you're like, dang, this is amazing. Are you sure? You know, is is this for me? You know, it's something so great or you never believe that that will be possible for you. So sometimes you do have to um, trick your unbelief into believing in something that is actually for you. But it's a lot of things in life that are contrary to what we actually want. And sometimes they're for us. We just don't believe in them. And then sometimes we want things, but we don't have our mindset to believe in them. So, your mind and your actions both have to be aligned in order to get anything done. And me personally, I'm somebody who can act upon things, but I don't always manage the discipline to continue on being straightforward and practicing them every day, like making meal preps, um, exercising every day, drinking more water a day. These things that are beneficial for me. As a person, I don't do these every day. I struggle with them. But once I make sure that I set in my mind to do them, that, that they become second nature for me, then I won't have an issue to do those things. Same with anything in your life. If you're trying to get something done, you got to get to the point where you're doing it on a straight, consistent basis for at least a month or two before it becomes such second nature for you. And then you have these habits in place. Give yourself time to learn these things because sometimes it really does take us time. Because we're creatures of habit. And if we change our habits, sometimes we struggle and our actions backfire to our old habits. While we're trying to implement new habits and sometimes we struggle. And sometimes we feel like we're restless. And sometimes we feel like we're not there. And sometimes we not feel like we're not getting there and we become, feel like we defeated or something. But life goes on and life is still a blessing if you're still here.